Okay guys, uh, good evening. It's fairly late. Um, just want to get this out there. It's all about compatibilities with ESC and motors. Earlier on, a couple of videos back, I mentioned um, I had a problem with two, well, I had two problems with two ESCs. One is the Avion 120, um, which is not compatible with the XPWR 35cc motor. Um, so I changed it with a Talon 120. However, I have an edge, which is this one here, uh, which I'm about to show you. I'm just gonna take this off here. And in here, you will see it has a Castle Creation 120 Phoenix Edge. Um, now that works absolutely superb with this edge that I've got. Bang on model. I've flown it many, many, many times. Then I've replaced this one with thinking thinking the Talon 120 um, would be the same as the Edge Phoenix Edge um, to sort the problem out, which originally had an Avion 120. Now, as you can see, it's a total different sort of uh, ESC. However, they're both 120 amp. But with the Talon 120 Max HV, when it goes onto absolute full throttle, it makes a little funny squealing noise, which I'm not happy about, um, where the other one, which is this one, the Phoenix Edge Castle Creation 120, when it's on full throttle, it's absolutely sweeter than not. No noise, nothing. This one, full throttle, makes a little bit of a noise and I'm not happy about that. So I've rung the shop up and they contacted um, Castle Creation and Castle Creation has addressed the problem, uh, basically saying it's uh, firmware. The, they need to update the firmware and they don't know when they're going to do that so now it's left me with a slick that is unflyable or I can take a risk of flying it and the speed controller goes on fire um, and I'm not prepared to do that so that is the dilemma I'm in with firmware and software update which Castle Creation knows about. I don't have a problem of buying another Castle Creation Edge Phoenix 120 but there's none about. I've shopped everywhere in UK um, there's just none around and they don't know when they're going to get the stock in until 
another three weeks. And when the stock arrives, they don't even know what's in the box. So that's where we are with them two aircrafts. And on this pilot, 330XL, this is fitted with the Avion 120, moving the wire about. Now, that is a very, very angry, I say angry ESC, because when it's on four throttle, a uh, couple of videos back, you've heard it, um, it makes um, a stuttering noise and it just will not go on full throttle. Um, when it's on 75% to 80%, it's fine, no problem. So again, I've emailed somebody and they said, again, firmware update and uh, software update. They are aware of the issue and the problems. So, leads me to here, which Spectrum has, look at the last one, SPM XAE 1120HV, that's the Avion 120 amp. Now look at this new firmware and it's supposed to be 04.0.05. Now then, that is the firmware. Oh. And the date on that is 6th of January this year. Right. So just remember the firmware is... 04.0.05 now then when I buy any ESC I always buy the programming box with it which is here it's a spectrum smart ESC programming box 200 I've connected it to this PC because they said to update the programming box and it should sort the problem out. So I've updated the programming box, uh, update the firmware. It says, if you read firmware version PB 3.2.45 and available version is PB 3.2.45 which has been updated now bear in mind when I mentioned earlier I'm just going to click this off when I mentioned earlier the new firmware here is 04 point zero point zero five the number is totally different so it's supposed to be a newer version now the database version has given us the uh, 4th of January because bear in mind this is American date so it's 4th of January year 2021 so what I'm trying to tell you is guys the version firmware is different to the version firmware 
of what they have given you. I'm just going to move this across. Okay. New firmware. 3.2.45. New firmware. 0 0.4.0. 0.05 which they are absolutely behind but the date is the same so something is not right with um, Spectrum and they are they are aware of the problem and again they're trying to fix the problem and it could take weeks and it's left me now with two of these 120 amp smart ESC that I cannot do anything with in any of my aircraft and also is left me with a Talon Max 120 which I had to take out I didn't want to take the risk of catching fire with my new slick so the only out of all the aircraft that I've got the only one that is the ESC that it's compatible for the XPWR 35cc is the Castle Creation Talon Phoenix Edge 120. Now then, 